Hello everyone, welcome to Scott's NBA Talk. I'm going to talk about the winners of last night's NBA draft here in a bit. Alright, let's get into this NBA draft. Um, I'm, this video, I'm going to talk about the winners of last night's draft. I'm going to have a vid uh, another video later talking about the losers, even though I hate using the word losers. That didn't do as well. That might be a better... But, uh, well, the, uh, let's go with the obvious one first. The Philadelphia 76ers. Obviously, are one of the big winners last night's draft. They got Markel Fultz, who was 6'4 out of Washington, and he could score from anywhere on the floor. Alright. You put him with... I, I want to see what Ben Simmons is going to do this year. Dario Saric, who has a shot at being Rookie of the Year. And Joel Embiid, hopefully he can stay healthy. I think he played 31 games last year. Uh, stop me if I'm wrong. I think he played 31 games. Uh, but I think he averaged like 20 points. Uh, but uh, Markel Fultz, I think he's going to fit real well. They've got a young, big four with Fultz, Simmons, Sarge, and Bean. I think they need to add a free agent like J.J. Redick. They could bring back an old uh, uh, one that I think started the franchise, Jody Meeks. Now, I don't know how well that would pan out, but uh, that would be interesting. Uh... They got the 25th pick from the Orlando Magic in a trade. A uh, 7-2 guy from Spain. I don't know much about him. I can't even say his name. Ons Panix. 7-2, 225 from Spain. All right. I, have, I don't know nothing about him. So, I usually don't know a lot about some of these foreign players that much. Um, but then I was read something about the 36 pick. They got a guy named Jonah Holden out of Serbia. Now he's six foot ten, same height as Ben Simmons, but he could defend all five positions. So that could be very interesting when you play like the Cleveland Cut Cavaliers, who've got a a dominant small forward. Probably the Pacers if Paul George stays there. Who knows? Um, but you know you could definitely throw that at LeBron. I don't know how quick he is going to be, though. Then they got uh, the 46th pick, uh, Sterling Brown. That's an interesting name. He's 6'5 out of uh, SMU, I think it is. And then uh, the 50th pick, they got Mateus Lasort, 6'9", 250 from France. So I think Philadelphia had a really good draft. Um, just from Markel Bol Mar Markel, not Bolts. Uh, Markel Fultz. And Jonah Bolden alone just kind of really impressed me. Um, another team, this is another pretty obvious one. The Los Angeles Lakers. Yes, had a really good draft, in my opinion. Uh, they got Lonzo Ball with the second pick. Now, yes, people wish his father would be quiet. In a way, I do too. But I like the fact that his father does have confidence in him. He's just kind of a bit of a loudmouth, but uh, some people are. But I respect that he has confidence in his son. And uh, he called it, you're going to Lakers. That's crazy. Uh, the 27th pick, um, they got uh, Kyle Kuzma out of Utah, 6'9". That was kind of a good pick. Uh, the 30th pick is what's interesting. Josh Hart. Now, I know I'm, I'm feeling like I'm going to make a joke here. and kind of made me am. This kid plays with a lot of heart. He has a winning attitude. He's going to fit real well in L.A. with Jordan Clarkson, you know, at the two, and then Lonzo Ball at point. They may run 
And then um, Thomas Bryant with the 40th pick. I'm sorry I'm turning my head, people. Um, I usually have to do this to look at my paper. Um, but then he's a 6'10 center. He can back up uh, Brooke Lopez and... Uh, oh, I can't think of the guy's name. Is there, I don't know that. Z-U-B-A-C, I think, the rookie last year for the Lakers. And then uh, they also today just signed undrafted six foot six P.J. Dozier out of South Carolina. So he's a combo guard. The Lakers did really well. Um, I wouldn't even say Phoenix. Now, I'm not sure about the 32nd to 54th pick. But uh, Josh Jackson is exactly what they needed. I mean exactly. You know, a perimeter defender. You got Eric Bledsoe. You got Devin Booker. Josh Jackson. That is pretty nasty. And then you've got... Who's it? Who's they got? Um, oh, I'm trying to think of the guy last... Like, uh, Marquise Chris, I think it is. Also, Dra Dragon Bender. Alex Lee. They got a bunch of people. Um, they took a 6'6 Devon Reed. Don't know anything about him. And Alex Peters. Uh, but I'm impressed with the fact that they took Josh Jackson. When Boston passed on him. And But uh, I'm going to tell you right now. To me, this is one of the big... like. The, those those picks, those teams were pretty obvious. But to me, this is going to sound crazy. To me, this is actually the winner of the draft. Was Sacramento. Everybody's going to be like, what? Why would you say that? Well, first off, they got De'Aaron Fox. Now, this team's had character issues the last, what, seven years with DeMarcus Cousins? Or six, five, six years? He was just a head case. Well, De'Aaron Fox is almost like a Mike Conley. He's going to be good character for this team. If he gets a jump shot, I mean, I do think he's a steal, like, the top, a topper of the draft. It's not a first pick. I think it's going to be a steal. He's got speed, though. So he's going to get out of the court really quick. And he's at, like, 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, so, and out of Kentucky. Kentucky players usually are either very, very all-stars or very good role players. The only Kentucky I've ever heard of was a bust was Daniel Orton. Selected by the Orlando Magic. <laughs> uh, but I wasn't just impressed with the fifth pick. Yes, now they traded their tenth pick to Portland. But they got two picks from doing this. So I was kind of impressed with that a little bit, even though they traded back. They got Justin Jackson, who could be a playmaker, a good defender, a little bit of athleticism. Now, I mean, I question this pick right here. But, you, but you know, in a way, mm, I don't know. You could take a risk here. I mean, Scott Lasbier, I heard, was doing pretty good last year for him. So, you can kind of take a pick a chance here, maybe. Uh, they drafted Harry Giles out of Duke. Although, I didn't think he was... I, I had him going earlier than 20th. I had him going to Milwaukee. But, and another part of me thought, well, he might not even get drafted at all with the injury histories. But, you know, hopefully they got it fixed. And then the 34th pick, they got Frank Mason out of Kansas. So, I think they had a pretty good draft overall. I mean, they got four rookies. Yeah, they're in rebuilding mode. Buddy Heald. I don't know what's going to happen with Rudy Gay and Darren Collison. Are they coming back? But you got Willie Colley-Stein, who could, def who could block shots. So, that'll help. Buddy Heald. What about Tyreek Evans, maybe? I don't know what's going to go on. Um, but they, they could be interesting. I mean, I, I think they got another year or two maybe to go. So if they could keep building right and get decent characters, character, high character people, then they're good. Um, I also want to talk about, besides Sacramento, this is another one. To me, that was another amazing draft. Was the Minnesota Timberwolves. Their seventh pick. Now, you could have thought, man, they might take Dennis Smith Jr. Right? No, they traded it. They traded this pick to Chicago for Jimmy Butler. 
And they gave up Zach Levine, who was injured a lot last year, and Chris Dunn. And then their seventh pick, and Chicago got Lori Market in it with the seventh pick out of Arizona. So uh, Minnesota did real well. I, I, Minnesota's going to be fun to watch with Carl Anthony Towns, Andrew Wiggins, uh, Jimmy Butler, and Ricky Rubio passing to those guys. So, And the defense is going to be better. I think I, Minnesota might, I think they're going to be a playoff team, or they're going to come pretty close. They may just miss it, possibly. I don't know. We'll have to see what everybody does in free agency. Um, if I don't know what, how much cap space they got, but if they got the cap space, go for a power forward. They need to go for a four. Oh, but they also took up with a 16th pick, Justin Patton. Now, I don't know if he's ready to start yet. I haven't watched much of his game, but that could be interesting. Um, another pick. Actually, this is another steal of the draft. And I don't know why Orlando didn't take this guy, but um, or like any other team above. Dallas Mavericks. They only had one pick. But they made, they made life out of this pick. Dennis Smith Jr., this guy's athletic, explosive, get down the court. That's going to be good. And Seth Curry, you can ask Seth Curry. Could probably play the two, maybe, if Wesley Matthews is not back. Or Seth Curry come off the bench. Harrison Barnes improved. You got Nowitzki, and I don't know, Nerlens Noel may be blocking shots, so I don't know. The West could be very interesting. And uh, besides Dallas... You want to know who really made a lot of noise? And they had, they had I think, one pick. Or maybe No, I think he got traded. I don't think they even had a draft pick. The Golden State Warriors. Yes, the NBA champs this year. They got Jordan Bell. Now, they, he can play the four or the five. So, if Draymond Green goes out, Jordan Bell could probably come in and play some defense. Now, he's not going to give you the same offense that Draymond Green can give you, but... That's going to give them a shot blocker. And you get JaVale McGee, and they picked up, oh, uh, who was it? A guy from, another guy from Oregon. I can't think of his name. Chris something. Uh, send it to me in the comments about, um, but it's another guy from Oregon. I read about it earlier, and I can't think of his name right now. But they, so they picked up two people from Oregon. I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, but to me, the winners are are Philly, Lakers, Suns, Kings. Um, well, actually, there's two more I forgot to talk about. Um, the Charlotte Hornets. I almost said Bobcats. Why? I don't know. Uh, the Charlotte Hornets also did very, very impressive. They even did impressive before the draft. Now, why I'm going to say that they traded. They got Dwight Howard. Now I know. I used to be the big one of the biggest Dwight Howard fans. I'm not no more, but he used to play. Oh, I guess Steve Clifford, who could, like assistant coach, could coach him good. And uh, they need Charlotte needed a center in case you know Cody Zeller goes down. So now Cody Zeller can come off the bench. They were nasty last year before Cody Zeller went down. They were like a third seed, I think. And they went down. Uh, but, you know, they, they so they added Dwight Howard. You know, they still got Kemba Walker, Nicholas Batum, uh, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Cody Zeller, Marvin Williams. And then they, this, I didn't think this guy would fall this far. The 11th pick, Malik Monk. 6'3", 200 pounds out of Kentucky. This guy could shoot. They say he may be the best shooter in the draft. Um, which, that's going to really help Kimba Walker. Kimba's not going to have to go out. Maybe Kimba can get some more assists now, hopefully. Uh, but Malik Monk, Kimba Walker. If you, you could go Batum, Marvin Williams, and Dwight Howard and have an offensive team if you want to go offense. You still got a little bit of defense there. Um, and then another guy who I think, like, late, I thought he was going to go late first round. I thought he was going to go to the Spurs. But uh, I think he could be a possible steal of the draft, too. Uh, he may be the steal in the second round. Dwayne Bacon. He's a combo wing, 6'7", out of Florida State. 
I think Charlotte had a very good draft, too. And then uh, the last team I'm going to mention, the Portland Trailblazers. Now, some people think, why did Portland move up five spots to draft Zach Collins when he could have been there 15? I don't think he'd have been there 15. I actually had him going to Charlotte before the Dwight Howard trade. Now, I didn't know they were going to trade for Dwight Howard. Um, but they, they drafted Zach Collins with the 10th pick. He's a 7-footer out of Gonzaga. He could play the 4 or the 5. So, if you got... Uh, Yusuf Nurkic and you can put Collins coming off the bench or you can actually maybe try to start him and see what happens, I don't know um, but Portland I thought did pretty good and then 26th pick Caleb Swanigan 6'6 out of Purdue um, I think he had an interesting stat Along the lines of Tim Duncan, like double doubles and like you know points and rebounds. So to get him at 26 could be a steal. Now I don't think he's going to be a star. He might be a pretty darn good role player. But uh, Portland, I thought did pretty good in this draft. Now I'm going to go to back, go over the list of teams again who I think were the draft winners. Philadelphia, obviously, the Los Angeles Lakers, definitely. Phoenix Suns getting Josh Jack or yeah no yeah Josh Jackson I almost said Justin Jackson Josh Jackson Sacramento Kings getting uh, De'Aaron Fox Justin Jackson and uh, Frank Mason maybe Harry Giles um Portland with uh, Zach Collins Caleb Swanigan. Uh, Charlotte with Malik Monk, Dwayne Bacon, and then, you know, getting Dwight Howard a trade. I thought that was a good move. Minnesota trading for Jimmy Butler and getting the 16th pick, Justin Patton. That was a great, that was a great move. Dallas Mavericks, even though they had one pick, Dennis Smith Jr. got their athletic guy now. And then, uh, Golden State Warriors, Jordan Bell. And some other guy from Oregon. So now they're going to be nasty in the paint on defense. Even nastier. And uh, who to you are your draft winners? Send me only your draft winners. The next video will be draft losers. Even though, again, I don't like the word loser. But uh, who is your draft winners? Send me your comments. Subscribe to the channel, and thank you for watching. Peace, and we're out with the rest of this music. I represent that boy who never knew his father, or that one that knew him, but he didn't even bother to come around, or that girl that thought she was the one, but he broke her heart and now she mad at everyone. I represent that kid getting bullied at school, now we all watching that. Oh,
up in your belly. Shout out to my single girls that want a man but don't need a man. And you got a plan, you working hard to get it. Shout out to my single brothers that want a girl but don't need a girl. And you working hard, know the right one will come when you walk in purpose. Recession hitting people lost jobs. Said he lost said they ain't met his bit hard, hard. But he refused to lose faith. And he just called me, said he back up on my work. And before I go completely out, I want to give a shout out and thanks to rapper Fidel for let for giving me permission to use that song in my video. And the song, in case you're wondering, is called "I Will Be" and it's by Fidel. Um, thank thank you, Fidel, very much. I appreciate it. Um, have a great evening. Again, send me your draft winners which teams were you thought had the best draft night thank you